Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 24 Missing Time This world we live in has undeniable mysteries that intrigue us and fascinate us, one of which being whether we are truly the only complex species out there. Well, in 1992, a boy born in a rural countryside had a UFO encounter that to this day concerns him. Not only did he encounter something unique, the events that transpired following the sighting have happened before, it's happened to people who haven't seen UFOs. He is one of the many victims of missing time. Let's find out what happened. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Jack, and I wanted to give your audience my personal story that happened years ago when I was young. The year was 1992, in the middle of June. At the time, my dad had a rural property, and it was good living. The cornfield was right there, had a nice relaxing porch, patio, and trees about 20 feet out from the main road, allowing just enough sun to keep us warm, but not scorch us. It was a wonderful place for a kid to be raised. One particular night, when I was in my bed about to sleep, it was already 2 a.m., and I had this strange feeling in my stomach, like something was about to happen. I was right. Right outside my window, seemingly out of nowhere, a huge flash of white light could be seen. And then, I saw some sort of spherical craft hovering over my dad's cornfield. It was emitting a strange humming noise, but this one wasn't a sound I could not only hear, I felt this through my whole being. My body was shaking. As a ten-year-old kid would, I was curious. Except, I didn't want to wake up my dad from sleeping. Surely, he'd grilled me for that. So I quietly opened my window, popped off the mesh screen. I then sneakily made my way to the field, where it was. The craft had landed. As I was carefully treading, in the distance, a couple feet away from me, were three tall beings. They were incredibly thin. I couldn't tell what color their skin was because their craft's light was so blinding. Their skulls were the one defining feature I remembered. They were slim, elongated skulls. And they began staring in my general direction. Whatever these were, they sensed my presence. And just like that, without a single shred of warning, boom, I'm back in bed. Under my warm blankets, as if nothing happened. But it did. The only reason why I know what I experienced was genuine was my screen mesh was still lying there where I had last left it. I had snuck out many times in the past, and that certainly would never have happened if I was in control of my thoughts and actions at the time. I would have placed it back there where it was. This whole experience was unreal, because I went from fully conscious of where I was and what I felt, to all of a sudden, gone. Gone is how I describe the feeling. I was outside one second, back in bed the next. I look at the clock. It read 7.01 AM. I lost five whole hours of memory. To this day, I don't know what happened to me. But if I had to place my guess, I would say I was abducted and sent back. This was one of the strangest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.